Build muscle and build a better golf swing. It's time to hit this hybrid bodybuilding workout. Our golf specific hybrid bodybuilding program has helped golfers around the world make serious gains on and off the course. And right now, you know you're headed into the off season. It's a little cold and wet outside, at least where we are. So it's a good time to hit it harder in the gym, build some muscle, and then turn it into performance next year. And if you want to get the hybrid bodybuilding workouts, it's in the Golf One app. A couple of clicks. All right, so we're going to hit programs. We're going to go performance because it's a challenging program and we're looking to build muscle, change your body, and build a better swing. And then we're going to hit hybrid bodybuilding 2.0. Right now, week four, day four, it's time to hit those reps and get golf strong. For set one, we need a med ball. You're going to go a combination of presses and slams to activate the body and hit sequencing elements that are going to power up your swing and get the body firing. So movement number one is going to be the kneeling chest to wall press. This is huge for the core, which you want to engage against the glutes to maintain your solid spine position. And then just over arm's length away from the ball, you will press with maximum force and quick repetitions to get that real stretch reflex, that bounce and that speed going through the chest and the upper body. Movement two is the split stance med ball slam. This is huge for your game and execution is key. So you're gonna go into a lunge position. Do not put that back knee on the ground and make sure you're well balanced between both feet. From here, you're gonna take a ball on the inside of your stance. You're gonna elevate and rotate around your body, around that lead leg, and then slam vertically down to the side. All right, so this is sequencing, this is rotation, this is force creation, because we want you to slam it down hard, guys, all right? And also, it's huge for your asymmetry and balance of the lower body as you look to stabilize through this pattern, all right? So make sure you hit equal reps on both sides and bring the heat. Okay, so we're done with the med ball. It's time to load up the bench press. And yes, the bench press can be beneficial for golf. We gotta make sure we hit that full range of motion and then we add in the golf with quality so you get all of the additional elements you need to make this a performance exercise. And that's what we do in this set right here, guys. All right, we're gonna combine a bench press, a light load with vertical med ball slams, all right? So when we bench press at 50% of your max lift, it's all nine reps, ensuring the elbows stay close and the bar travels in a straight path just about at the sternum. Movement number two is the vertical med ball slam. Here, you can probably go a little heavier than you did in the first set. And again, it's those sequencing elements. We're looking to elevate and then sequence down. Pull at the hips, work through the core, and then deliver all the speed through the arms and the upper body to absolutely go full send and get the body firing. Now, we swap the ball for the box and we increase the weight on the bench press. The loading the percentages are really very important in this overall workout because they're each there for different things. All right, 50%, we can really accelerate. We can get the body moving. Now we're gonna go to 80%, less reps. And obviously this is within a cycle for the whole program design as well. And we're gonna match it up with rotational box jumps. Okay, so we're increasing load. We're increasing mechanical tension on the chest, on the pecs, and we're bringing in those golf specific elements so we're seeing gains all around. All right, so in terms of the bench press, this time we're going to be at 80% of your one rep max, and we're looking to load the muscle. Six reps will be a challenging set, so ensure that your form is maintained, with the elbow staying closer to the body, loading the muscle properly, and then accelerating out from the bottom. In terms of movement number two, it is the rotational box jump. Here, we're looking at creating torque and rotating into the ground to maximize our force potential, standing side onto the box, ele elevating ourselves and rotating to land in a solid position on top. You're also gonna split three reps each side of the body for symmetry, for acceleration, and so you can get better at golf. Ugh. 
Now, it's time to test that one rep max. All right, you got six attempts. Have someone to spot you if you can do, guys, all right, and maintain that form. Again, we're at the end of the cycle for this program, so we've been building up to this. You should feel pretty strong. So now we're feeling good. We've got that upper body pump. It's time to get a hybrid element, guys. All right, so again, if you hit the full range of motion on the bench and accessorize as we do, alongside your mobility, everything else, you can make serious gains, build muscle, and build a better golf swing. You see that every single day with us, guys, all right? And if you really want to hit the hybrid bodybuilding stimulus, we need to hit the whole body as well, guys, right? As well as splits through the week, we get it done, all right? So here we have a workout. It's gonna be 10 rounds, but it's only three, two, one reps, okay? So here, it's more about consistency and movement quality than really just ripping through a massive intensity, all right? Movement number one is gonna be the burpee. Here, we are looking for chest to ground and then full elevation at the top. So hit the ground, push up, get the feet flat, and then extend the hip to finish the rep. Okay, that's just pure work and overall capacity. Movement number two is gonna be the deadlift. You can go with a conventional deadlift, a sumo deadlift, and we're aiming to go around 75% of our one rep max. It's gonna be two reps, okay? So it's gonna be a heavy load, but it should also be a load where you can set up with effective movement patterns and nail the rep, guys, all right? So feet right underneath the bar, engage the posterior chain, maintain a neutral spine, and then you're pushing into the ground, get the bar past the knees, and then it's all glutes to finish out the rep, okay? You can go touch and go, or you can reset between lifts, whichever is gonna help you to move the bar in the best way possible. The final movement is gonna be the box jump, okay? So we've already had lots of explosive elements throughout as we build muscle, and this is the same, guys, right? 10 single jumps, we're looking for maximum acceleration, and again, hit the form. You're looking to elevate your arms, get set with both feet ready to engage the ground, compress, and then full acceleration and full elevation of the body. Both feet land, we're solid, we extend the hip, and then it's back around again, guys. All right, so let's hit the workout. Workout done. And if you like training, if you like lifting weight, and you like making progress on the course, this is definitely for you guys, all right? That last bit of workout, deadlift, I got it done. All right, so now we finished the day, we watched all our videos, and now time to submit to our handicap. So here, we got birdie, power bogey, and we're gonna log the workout, all right? So how did the workout feel? That's a birdie, it felt damn good, all right? Did he use increased weight? Yes, we did, we hit those percentages, and that's going up. Birdie again. Did he complete the golf or challenge? We hit the workout in under 10 minutes, so yes. Three birdies, we rocking today, guys. All right, you're gonna submit to the handicap, and that takes three off your overall score. All right, so this is gonna help you have some fun with your training. You're gonna train like you play, and just getting used to that, it's gonna help you just get your golf training alongside your actual golf game and that's where we create the synergy, that's where we get you doing different things, making serious progress. I can also add a little more detail if I choose to. We can put those actual lifts in there, more detail. We're gonna sign it to the handicap, and then we check it on the leaderboard. Where are we at? 17th at the moment, guys, all right? So, that's the Golfwood app, and these are the best workouts in golf, guys, all right? That does not get any better. Hybrid bodybuilding, lots of lifting, 
Lots of change in the body and serious golf gains. All right, so if you want more, make sure you get the Golf What app, you hit the workouts, and then subscribe to the channel and tell your friends, guys, all right, because this is the strongest movement in golf, and you need to golf strong.